Welcome to Washington football win morning. No, that doesn't sound good. <laughs> Hold on a second. I got to take a, a victory sip here. Mmm, good coffee. So, the Washington football team pulled out an exciting win last night. Honestly, the game was much closer than what it should have been. Uh, we'll get into that in just a second. But the Washington football team beat the Seattle Seahawks last night 17-15. to uh, Russell Wilson was pressured all game long. And this was one of the points that I had made in my last video about needing to get pressure on Russell Wilson, keep him in the pocket. He did scramble for um, a run up the middle for a first down. It was like one of the very few first downs that the Seahawks had in that second half there. Uh, but for the most part, the Washington football team was able to contain. Now, they, they meaning of the Washington football team defense, they did have a miscommunication. Always seems to be William Jackson there involved. But I've grown to, to really feel like that I'm going to see this in every single game. There's going to be at least one or two miscues that's going to cause the opponents to have this huge play on offense. And of course that happened last night as well, but you know, it, Hey, it is what it is. The defense for the most part though, played really well. They got a lot of pressure to Russell Wilson. Wilson did not look comfortable back there at all last night. I mean, he really looked very tentative. He didn't look like the Russell Wilson that I, I have seen play over the years so you know I, I don't I don't know you know maybe he's still a little shell-shocked with uh that injury to his thumb but he yeah his accuracy was off um he just he just threw some wild passes uh he should have had several interceptions I think at least a couple of interceptions last night uh that were dropped by our defense but uh Russell Wilson just you know had had a pretty bad night last night um, still put his team in a position to come back. And, you know, Washington's got to put these teams away. There were a couple of, um, um, there, there were a couple of drives in the third quarter. And, you know, which drives I'm talking about, the ones where third and one, both times they run it, they don't get it. Um, I, I do appreciate that quick snap, you know, the quick lineup. Uh, to the ball, quick snap, get the first down. Uh, eventually, defenses will wise up to that. But, uh, you know, you can go to that. You can kind of go to that well one too many times. And, and I think Washington did kind of go to that well one too many times. And uh, because of that, uh, I believe those, uh, if I'm not mistaking, those two Drives might have been three and outs, but at any rate, oh, well, no, maybe not. But at any rate, there are two drives that stalled and gave Seattle a chance to come back. And um, we did give up that late touchdown. Now, you know, crazy, crazy game, though. I mean, you know, Seattle blocking our extra point and running back for two points to make it nine to nine at the halftime. I mean, that was just, that was a momentum changer right there because, you know, Washington had clearly gotten the momentum, went in, got the touchdown, uh, was going to go up by three points, and then, you know, field goal gets blocked, um, Sly gets injured on the play, uh, hamstring injury, I believe, so he can't kick for us the rest of the game. We have no field goal kicker. Uh, Tressway would be the one to attempt to field goals, but Ron Rivera was not having it. He was not going to put Tress Way out there to attempt any field goals. So uh, no field goals last night. There was a situation we all know where Washington probably could have iced the game uh, if we had a field goal kicker. But, you know, uh, we made it through. Uh, so, yeah, that that was interesting. The, um, the two onside kicks last night, uh, the first one Seattle did get, but there was a penalty called on them for illegal formation. I tell you, my heart sank when I saw Seattle recover that onside kick because I'm thinking, 
They're going to come back and break our hearts again, like they did last year. They're going to come back. They're going to win this game, a game they should not have won, a game that Washington should have easily handled last night. And they're going to come back and win. And it was that call. And it, it was the correct call. Um, and then they go back and they line it up again. They, they almost got it again. Uh, but Washington was able to recover to, to ice the win. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, I'll say this about the refs last night. They were very inconsistent. There were a lot of missed calls. There were a lot of ticky-tacky calls. Um, you know, I thought that that call, um, uh, or I should say on the, on the uh, Taylor Heineke interception, um, I felt that Logan Thomas was a defensive, or a defenseless, I'm sorry, uh, I'm tired, man. I need more coffee. But, um, uh, you know, Logan Thomas was a defenseless receiver, and he just got smacked right in the, the face. Um, I felt like that should have been a penalty right there. It wasn't. It was uh, There was a no call. And then later on, you see some ticky-tacky calls by the refs. And they were just, you know, I, I've, I've witnessed this... Uh, uh, officiating crew in the past never have like this crew always think they're inconsistent think they're too strict on some things and not strict on enough they let some things go they shouldn't and they they call like the weirdest things and so um did not like officiating last night at all thought that the reversal on logan thomas's touchdown was uh was a terrible call uh, logan thomas I'm sorry, but, you know, that would have just been an, that would have been an incomplete pass if they had called it an incomplete pass on the field and then reviewed it. The thing was, they called it a touchdown. They, they called it a catch. There was no clear evidence that Logan Thomas had dropped the ball. So that call should have remained a touchdown. They reversed the call. That was a horrible, horrible call by the officiating crew. And it really changed the complexion of the game. I mean, uh, that could have, well, I mean, it almost did. It almost cost Washington the, the football game. And honestly, uh, Washington would have iced the game at that point had they kept that call, which they should have done. Um, but hey, you know, the team fought hard. Ron Rivera, so fired up at the end of the game. I mean, telling his guys, let's go, let's go. Telling the fans, let's go. Uh, using a few uh, explicit, explicitives. <laughs> I shouldn't say such big words in, in the morning. Um, basically, he's just fired fired up, man. You know, he's firing up the, the crowd who seem kind of sparse. Um, but just overall, it was great wins. Three wins in a row for the Washington football team. And how about Steve Levy there calling us the Redskins? Yes! <laughs> L to the Redskins. Oh, I loved it. I, I called it and I'm like, you know what? They are, they're still the Redskins to me. I, I'm sorry. Don't care what side of the argument you're on on that one. They're still the Redskins to me. Uh, but just overall, uh, Washington played their guts out last night. Um, and... It was a great win. Um, Antonio Gibson, he had over 111 yards uh, rushing last night. Uh, J.D. McKissick uh, suffered a neck injury. We are still waiting to hear details on that neck injury. I'm sure we'll hear something today. Uh, it didn't look good, but he actually was able to, to get up, walk over to the, the cart, uh, on under his own power, so uh, that gives you hope because we we're going to need J.D. McKissick going down the road here, um, and he had a big night last night. You know, a touchdown, actually maybe what two touchdowns last night. So uh, J.D. McKissick, man, he balled out. Uh, Terry McLaurin, you know, four catches, fifty-one yards. Um, Andre Carter, four catches, forty-two yards. Logan Thomas. Um, had three catches. Antonio Gibson out of backfield had seven catches. Um, uh, John Bates had one catch for 15 yards. Uh, Adam Humphreys was targeted twice for 14 yards. Curtis Samuel got into the game. 
Um, had a couple of plays there. Uh, picked up a first down for us. Uh, we're slowly working him back in. Hopefully he's going to feel good and and um, hopefully he's going to continue to to work a little harder and have a little bit more playing time. Uh, Shaka Tony um, had a couple of tackles there. Um, he's you know he's impressed me big time. He's he stepped it up. Um, you know in the absence of uh, Chase Young, Montez Sweat, uh, Jamin Davis. He's he's starting to come around. I, I'm starting to to have some some feel for for Jamin Davis. Man, he he's uh, he's balling out. Cole Holcomb always balls out. Um, yeah, so, you know, we go through all this, um, looking Taylor Heineke, 27 for 35, 223 yards, one touchdown, uh, one INT. So overall, good game for the Washington football team last night. Um, they're five and six and they right now have leaped ahead of the Minnesota Vikings and they hold that final playoff spot. So if the season ended today, uh, the Washington football team would be in the playoffs. So that that's great. Now there's still a lot of season left. So can't rest on your laurels. You got all those NFC schemes coming up. Um, we got a big game, another big game against the Las Vegas coming up next week. Uh, Washington is going to have to treat every game as a must game or must win game. And, that's just how it is. it's going to be probably from here on out. But right now, they've won three in a row. And not only that, they beat three quality teams. I know Seattle has had an, a, a down season. But anytime you're able to beat, you know, um, Russell Wilson, you know, because he always is going to give you a chance. And, and Seattle's defense is no slouch either. Seattle has a really solid defense. So it hasn't been their defense that has been costing them games. It's been their offense. But all that being said, hey, man, fans, we are 5-6. and six. We're, we're climbing our way back out. It's time to get excited about this team again. I'm excited. I can't wait. I want to see what they do against the Raiders. I just feel like if we can somehow get past the Raiders – now we're looking at the rest of the season as being like it, its own mini playoffs, its own mini season, because it's nothing but NFC East games. And it's teams that we know are going to come and bring it. And it's going to be a battle. But I don't think I would have it any other way. This is this is exactly what Ron Rivera is wanting. You know, this team is peaking at the right time. And if you want your team to peak, you want them to peak, you know, getting close to the end of the season while you still have an opportunity to make the playoffs. Washington is doing that. So that being said, hope you enjoyed this video. It got a little longer than expected, but that's okay. Um, please like, share, subscribe if you possibly can. I would really appreciate it. Uh, you can also visit my Patreon page. I uh, have some links down in the description below if you would like, um, even if you're still searching for some last minute Christmas presents, got some jerseys for you. Uh, they don't cost you any more money, but you know, if you follow my link, I get a little bit of a kickback. So I uh, appreciate anything you want to do for me. That being said, hell to the Washington football team. Hell to the Redskins. You guys have a great day.